Okay, we've done the planing, and I've noticed a little problem. Here's a square block. The, it's ran through the planer, and uh, this isn't the problem. This little bit of bark on the corner, because I'm going to be cutting around that. So, and I've squared the two ends up on the miter saw. Uh, so I got my block, and I like the wood grain in this particular piece. Nice. Uh, what's happened is, is the log started to go through the rotting process and uh, it's left these little streaks inside uh, color discolorations which I think that gives the wood more character than normal uh, anyway what's wrong with this piece is I have a square here and I just checked this blade a second ago and the blade is square with the table uh, this block, and the planer will sometimes do this, as you can see, if I hold it up to this edge right here, you can see that it's not quite true and square, this block. All four sides are the same way. The planer was planing it not perfectly square, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the edges across the edge of this blade, take off just that little edge on one side of each one of these and then run it back through the planer and hopefully it'll be closer to true square what I've done. and that'll also probably get rid of this little bit here because that excess I take off will probably get down to the part I'm looking for better plug the saw in Squaring the blade up, I uh, had to turn the saw off. One thing about this is, you'll notice when I'm working wood through the bandsaw, that uh, 
when I get start to get my hands in closer to the blade, what I'll always do is put my fingers down on the table, and then I'll push with one part of my hand. And the reason why is in case I slip, what will happen is these fingers that are connected uh, to the table don't allow me to, it's just I'm pushing this way without my fingers connected to the table. If I slipped, I'd go, whew, three or four fingers gone. If you get your fingers connected to the table and you're pushing with one finger like this, uh, you have more of a foundation here where you're not going to do the big slide. It's the big slide that gets people in trouble, uh, like on a table saw or on a band saw. It's when they trip and fall or whatever, or they, and they stumble into the saw or, or their hand slips off a board, the big push through the blade. That's a big danger point. And another thing too, if you can feel the air, the wing coming off the blade, your fingers are too close. You want to keep your fingers at least this far away. And if you'll notice me, you notice I keep my fingers at least this far away. If I start to get in this area, I start to feel, and I start to feel a little bit of air off the blade, I'm nervous. I grab a push stick. 